And another part about it is when you see art in person, it has a whole different feel as when you see art, you know, on a picture in a book somewhere or on, a, on the internet. So when you get to watch your friends make art, it's kind of a magical feeling. Cause it's just like, like when you make art, it's magical. When you see a blank canvas and next thing you know, you have a background, next thing you have a foreground, and you have details, you have light and you have shadow, you have value, you have, you know, all these different things. It's magical because you look back and you're like, this was nothing at one point. The therapeutic value of art varies from person to person because every person has uh, different settings, different traumas they had to overcome and different you know, things they've enjoyed. And I feel like both of those are what fuel your art. Through expressing that, you further understand yourself and you also further heal yourself because you're actually addressing different parts of yourself that you may not have addressed if you didn't have such a free range of expression or, or such a, um, uh, a relaxing outlet. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like anytime I anytime I view an old piece, it feels like I'm I'm visiting with my old self. I'll look at that piece and I'll I remember who I was when I painted it and what I was going through, and then I look at myself now and I'm like I'm going through a whole lot different situations than I was at that time. I don't seek to infect them with the feeling that I had when I painted it, whether it's good or bad, but. Those that have had it before will recognize it when they look at the painting, that it's, it's an instant. It's always instant. If, and it's like that if I view someone else's work, I like different friends' work. I'll look at their work and I'll, I'll see something they went through that I went through. I'll see a feeling that they felt that I felt, and I'm like, I get that. But I'm not gonna, if I don't get it, I'm not gonna be like, I don't get it. I'm frustrated, because I'm gonna re I realize that I've never had that feeling before, so it's not gonna resonate in me the same way. And I feel like that's the, that's a big mis misunderstanding in art, is that people look at a piece and like, they wanna know what it means and they get confused. Honestly, like, honestly, if you were meant to know what it means, you know what it means, you know? And you can ask the artist all day what it means, but there's no way they can translate that feeling to you if you never felt it. Well, closing statements, I guess I would say is that keep creating, don't ever stop creating, whether you creating actual physical, visual art, whether you're making music, whether you're teaching kids, you're cooking food for people, you're design, whether you're designing uh, workbooks, manuals, whether you're, you know, if you're an accountant and you're doing, and you're, you're making a spreadsheet, you're still an artist, you know, in my book. So keep creating. Keep just keep creating, keep doing your thing in this world. Don't do nothing if it's not productive, you know, because then it's destructive, and we don't want that.